What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today we are going to be talking about the next operation for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which is called Operation Dark Divide, coming next week on September the 23rd on the PlayStation 4 first. Now, this is probably going to be the final operation for the Black Ops 4 year, at least until Modern Warfare comes out, but I'm not sure if Treyarch plans on continuing content releases going into Modern Warfare, but I would say with certainty that they will, because what War 2 still gets frequent weapon drops and new content here and there, so I do believe that Black Ops 4 is going to be looking at something very similar. Now, the theme for this next operation is going to be centered heavily around superheroes versus villains. It actually looks pretty freaking cool, but a lot of people are disagreeing, but to be honest, I'm one of those few that thinks this is incredibly awesome and unique for COD, but it's just kind of odd that they decided to do this theme pretty late when the biggest superhero movie of all time, Endgame, has been out for a while now. I think around that time this content drop would have been incredible, um, but then again, Fortnite does have their own superhero theme season, plus they're actually partnered with Marvel, so I guess it's a possible reason why they delayed it, because uh, Fortnite would have taken away a lot of players for that superhero themed event, I don't know, but yeah, I think this theme for the event is pretty freaking sweet. Now we are going to be getting the final two Black Ops 4 multiplayer maps and the conclusion of the Black Ops 4 Zombie Aether storyline called Tag Der Toten, and this then come Monday, Treyarch plans to premiere gameplay of the multiplayer maps and then a walkthrough of the new Blackout experience. So make sure you check back with Treyarch on Monday next week for the live stream revealing all the details about Operation Dark Divide. I don't think anything is going to be happening today. I don't think they're going to release a trailer or anything. Maybe like some information possibly, but um, that's just highly unlikely. I think the rest of this week, um, Activision just wants it to be focused around Modern Warfare because the Modern Warfare crossplay beta is supposed to take place this coming weekend so i think today and for the rest of the week they just want to build up enough hype around modern warfare but today we are going to be getting a new update on black ops 4 in fact it may go live by the time you're watching this video and with this update it brings jungle flooded into the multiplayer rotation and then uh, arsenal sandstorm has been shifted out of the map selection based off the community feedback a lot of people were not uh, pleased with arsenal sandstorm because it's just really really hard to see players in that game um plus i don't know it just arsenal Arsenal Sandstorm really wasn't that good of a map in general. Arsenal is not really one of my favorite maps in the game, um, but Jungle Flooded, classic map, it just, um, you know, has a lot more water in different parts around the map that we can access, so um, looking forward to that as well. And then also, guys, this is the final day, or last update of Operation Apocalypse Z, and the zombies have started to retreat, and the apocalypse has basically ended, bringing back the daylight to both the main map and Alcatraz on all platforms. So on Blackout, players can expect expect new daytime lighting and brightness levels on the main map and then the return of the original afternoon environment in Alcatraz. Ground War is also going to be coming back to Blackout which I'm looking forward to. I have a lot of fun on Ground War and there's also going to be a new LTM for Blackout coming next week but there is no information on it whatsoever. A part of me wants to believe that it's going to be centered around like superheroes and villains like maybe there's an item you can find on the ground that will turn you into some kind of a superhero character or villains with like a uh, like superpowers, you know, and then you have to fight until the very end to survive But if you kill that player then you can take the item and become them kind of like the Thanos mode Maybe from Fortnite, but that's just my speculation We really don't have any information on this final LTM for blackout at all And then stockpile is also going to be coming back to multiplayer and lastly for multiplayer There are two weapon tuning updates for the Havelina sniper rifle and it received a nerf because the aim assist has been removed So now it requires more precision and and then the correct damage values for high cal 2 has been applied so those are the updates for black ops 4 again live stream regarding the new operation uh, dark divide coming next week on monday and then the operation kicks off that following day on tuesday so please tell me thoughts about this down below in the comments guys what are your thoughts about operation dark divide do you guys think it's kind of silly or do you guys think it's pretty cool again i'm on the fence kind of thing and this is pretty freaking sweet i don't really see why the complaints are there but unfortunately if you strip it down i'm pretty sure that a lot of the outfits the new outfits Outfits and then the weapons are gonna cost a lot of COD point money to get which is kind of unfortunate to think about because like I said the theme for the event is pretty cool it's just it's gonna be riddled with microtransactions and uh, I don't know don't really want to think about that too too much because it's, it's just negative stuff um, but Black Ops 4 has just been riddled with microtransactions this is honestly the worst that I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game you guys know how I feel about this it would just be nice to see that you know maybe they could release like a couple new weapons for Black Ops pass holders for free 
Fury or, or something like that, you know, give us something to be excited for with this event. Um, but again, we shall see what happens come Monday on that live stream. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love y'all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.